Gavin. And then Gavin tryharded with Ness and just mashed buttons. And then I tried to mash buttons with Peach. One of us succeeded. <laughs> So we're going to be uh, getting losers finals between uh, the Mutton Man and Kegon. Uh, Kegon played a lot of Samus, and sometimes Captain Falcon in the era for which I was around, uh, before most of you probably were around. And I guess the big thing is really just um, that uh, Kegon likes to work with, like, really trying to create a lot of... Uh, a lot of neutral uh, trappings where he can really capture his opponents in a bad situation. Notice how he's sort of like forcing. That was a really cool uh, wave dash that he was doing right there. Try to go for the up B. Doesn't quite land it. It's uh, good old uh, Mitch is shielding that. So this is a very weird matchup. A lot of it's just uh, revolves around. Well, for Puff, it's the usual, just um, edge guard them off the sides and sometimes the top. And for Samus, it's really just um, don't get rested. And uh, on top of that, also um, land some creative KOs. That's really what it comes down to. And um, Kegon's going to be taking the first stock. And I am more distracted by Mango vs. Sane right now. I haven't said a couple of words. Um, but as of right now, this is pretty tied up right now. Uh, though, Kegon does have the advantage. Um. Kegon still controlling the neutral pretty confidently. Ooh! Gets the charge shot to hit the corner and... Um, Mitch didn't have his invincibility anymore. Gets another charge shot. We're hitting those pretty nicely right now. Uh-oh. But Mitch ready with a forward smash. Um, it's like... Uh-oh. Doesn't quite get back to the ledge. He's able to go back with... Uh, oh. And he let Tag on back on the stage. Trying to go in with a pound. See if he can mix him up. So as of right now, what I'm seeing is a lot of, uh, in general, what Kegon is doing is he's respecting a lot of puff spacing options generally and preparing with some pretty good DI to uh, combat for it so that he can still trade hits when he gets a lead, as you can see right now. Going for shard shots just out of the out of the gate. And I guess it's worth a try if. Uh, Mitch is getting tricked up by all these other uh, neutral traps that can be set up as well. Um, I guess the big thing in general is just to uh, not get too comfortable. Is uh, Mitch can bring it back. Not quite landing. Oh, there we go. He, he finally gets a hit. Brings it back. He's going to have a bit of a mountain to climb as he has now lost his stock. He's down to the last stock for game one. And nothing is quite more important than um, really just Hegon making sure that he gets some good traits and he's able to uh, really bring out the bring out the flames. <laughs> so 
so far it's looking like so I guess what Mitch is going to want to do is figure out what to do for those next couple of games uh, try to try to see what he is able to uh, pull off yeah it's a best of five um you do get your counter pick I know what you want to pick And um, Mitch is going to go to the classic counter pick, Dream Mines. It's a good stage for Puff. You can live a lot longer uh, due to the higher ceilings and the higher and the further sides out. And that bigger box is going to help Mitch stay alive a little bit longer, which I think is going to be something that he really needs. Ooh, doesn't quite get the get the uh, edge guard. Right now, uh, Kegon is content with just using those jabs between that and. Um, tilts to uh, really mess with uh, the spacing that uh, Mitch is trying to dominate right now. It's just going out for a Frost Mark smash. Doesn't quite work out. He does get a chain of three forward airs. Let's see what he does with it. He manages to make it back. Okay. This is a pretty close game. It seems like Mitch is starting to, not to mention respect, sort of like the neutral traps that uh, Kegon sets up, but also is doing better with the shielding as well. I think he's... Ooh! But Kegon gets the shield, gets this charge shot, and um, he made it back on the stage. Still really close. It's going to be pretty important who gets this first stock. Um, we'll see who does it. Right now, it really respecting... A lot of the uh, projectiles. Uh oh, Mitch is managing to get the hits, but they're all going in the wrong direction. And this is why. Uh... Kagon's gonna get the first hit and take the first stop. Um. So. Um. I'm trying to do my best to be normalized with this commentary, but it's pretty hard to to uh, to do that, especially with uh, Genesis going on right now. And it's game five, last stock between Zane and Mango right now. Uh, but as of right now, it seems like Well, Zane's going to be in winner's side of Grand Finals. Uh, but back to the match. Um, we've got a... Uh, it looks like... Ninja's brought it back quite a bit. Once again, just sort of respecting the space. Reminding... Um, uh, oh, that was a bit close! If that hit, I mean, Mitch would have had a big battle to make uphill. Gets a grab. Let's see what he does with this uh, neutral spacing. He's gonna make it back on. I guess the bigger question is, is he going to fall for those charge shots? Because Kagon's been getting quite a few of those. Oh, no, he's not! And Kagon's going to take yet another stock. Right now, Kegon's doing a really good job, sort of, uh, really, uh, I don't know if Mitch thought that, uh, Kegon was gonna, like, ooh, never mind, I think he knows what he's doing, he's getting the stock, and this is pretty good positioning for both of them, it's a really even game, I think Mitch is, just one thing he has to really do is be careful for those, uh, for the charge shots, and, um, bit of projectiles, especially when he's in the air. Kagon's taken quite a bit of advantage of that. Ooh! Oh, no! Uh-oh, this is... This is a bit... Oh! That's unfortunate. He's gonna have to play really well right now. Um, uh-oh! Another charge shot. Can't be getting hit by those. That being said not too far out of the way. He could certainly take this uh, game. 
He just needs to remain composed, um, sort of try to dart around each of the projectiles, and um, just sort of uh, take some time to figure out what he's doing, and he will be taking the stock. He's getting these forward smashes pretty easily. He's just um, having a bit of trouble getting through the air right now. And it's going to be a question of, will he do Oh, and that's uh, not going to happen. So now Kagon's up 2-0 right now. Mitch is going to have to think about what he, he's going to do to uh, avoid getting hit aerially, because that's really been the big thing that uh, he's been uh, suffering from quite a bit of. He's just going to have to... going to have to be careful as where he places himself. Nice, he manages to not get hit by that charge shot. What will he do with... When, uh... Ooh, nice! I wonder if he's going to adapt by uh, using his back air and forward air as a method to block out some of the missile projectiles. Because if he can, that's going to certainly provide him some mileage and perhaps they stop him for the first time. He gets the backward throw, does not get the forward smash. He manages to block another charge shot. He's doing quite a bit of a better job against the projectiles. Kagon coming out with a with a neutral air. Now he's got control of the stage. What is he going to do? Ooh, he does not get that charge shot this time. Mitch going to get a... Doesn't quite get it. Goes for another board air, and... Kagon manages to sneak in and up tilt and take the first stock. And so, uh-oh. Mitch getting hit by another charge shot. And, um, I guess, um, really one thing. Ooh, hang on, getting a, uh... Oh, no! Oh, that's unfortunate. It looks like Mitch was going to get the rollout. Uh-oh. Yeah, I guess the big thing right now is just... Okay, he does get the stock now. He's just going to have to uh, dart the aerials really nicely. Gets a nice chain of back airs. Gets a forward throw. Gets the patience, but he doesn't quite land it, the smash at the right timing. Does get another forward air. This is a chance to to send this man on his way out. Doesn't quite land it. And Kegon's back in the neutral. Gets a neutral air. So, I guess the big... Ooh! I wasn't sure if that would... I had a hard time seeing. There's a bit of glare in front of the screen. So, I wasn't sure if that was a forward smash or if that was a pound. Oh, it was? Okay, I was wrong in more ways than one. Was that a... Was that a... That was a... That was a... That was a rollout, right? Okay. Well, you know... Somebody's gotta try it out. Oh, dear. Will he get the, get the get the edge guard? Doesn't quite. He almost has it. That's a nice mix-up in the recovery by Kagon. Manages to. And that's the thing about Samus. He lives a long time. Samus is a tank. Oh. And that's gonna do it. Kagon's gonna take the set convincingly with a 3-0. There were a few times where Mitch. 